Everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Game, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a controller in Elder Scrolls Online on the PC. And this is very easy. So, if you have it attached to your computer with a USB, otherwise Bluetooth or a dongle or something like that, once it's plugged in, press Options and then go to Settings. Now, you need to turn this on, otherwise, it's not just going to work by default. Then we can go to Gameplay right here, and then we can scroll on down. And here is Gamepad. Go to gamepad mode and then turn this on. So you're going to have a couple different modes. If you go to on, gamepad is going to be turned on and you can use the mouse and keyboard. And the gamepad at the same time is going to be using like the same user interface. If you go to automatic, it's going to switch in between the two different modes depending on whatever source you're using. So if I plug in my gamepad right now, my user interface will switch over. So I have my PlayStation 5 controller right here. You can see it's switched on over on the bottom of the screen. And if I press enter and say, hey, there you go. So if I disable this, you can see now it's back over to the PC format. Now, one thing you need to be aware about when you plug in your controller, the UI might be all weird. So if you're on a 4K monitor, you're going to want to go down to options. Scroll on down to video. And then go to UI custom scaling right here. And go to use custom scale and then turn this on. So if you turn this off, this is what it will look like by default in 4K. If you turn this on, and then you can actually adjust the scale right here. If you don't go to that option, you're not going to be able to adjust it. And sometimes, like uh, the text box on the bottom left will be really small. Hello, everyone. So make sure you adjust it right there and then set it up and. If you're playing on the PS4, PS5, Xbox, you're going to be right at home. Everything is going to be in the same spot. So you'll know this interface quite a bit better now. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. Just subscribe to my channel down below. For more tech of videos coming up next on Your 6 Gaming.